in the ongoing disputes over the presidential election, Senator Koyemi Bamidele, a witness for President Bola Tinubu, has made a stunning admi admission. He revealed that the $460,000 forfeited by the Nigerian leader to the United States originated from a narcotic business and money laundry activities. On Wednesday, Senator Bamidele, a prominent politician from Ikiti and a long-time protege of President Tinubu, appeared before the election. Petition Tribunal in Abuja to testify against Peter Obi, the opposition Labour Party's presidential candidate, led in his testimony by senior lawyer Latif Fagbemi. Senator Bamidele alleged that Mr. Obi had joined the Labour Party while still being a member of the opposition People's Democratic Party. During the proceedings, Senator Bamidele submitted several documents, including the Labour Party's membership registration file as of April 25, 2020, which did not list Mr. Obi as a member. The party's registration document for Anambra State also did not contain Mr. Obi's name during that period. People's Gazette had initially reported Mr. Obi's exit from the PDP on May 25, after which he officially announced his membership with the Labour Party on May 27. However, the Abuja Division of the Court appeal ruled that Mr. Obi did not violate electoral laws despite becoming the Labour Party's presidential candidate on May 30th, less than a month after joining the party. Electoral laws stipulate that an aspirant must be a party member for at least 30 days to be eligible for candidacy. However, the most significant revelation emerged during cross-examination by Mr. Obi's legal team led by Levi Uzoku, Senator Bamidele admitted that President Tinumbu had indeed forfeited over $460,000 in connection with illicit drug proceeds. The forfeiture occurred in the United States during the 1990s when Tinumbu presided in Chicago, resided in Chicago. Despite this case dominating headlines leading up to the presidential candidate's presidential election on February 25, the politician had refrained from addressing the forfeiture for several years. In response to Mr. Uzoku's questioning, Senator Bamidele confirmed his knowledge that the forfeiture was linked to narcotics dealings. He further acknowledged his understanding that money laundry had been involved in President Tinumbu's case prior to the final forfeiture. Senator Bamidele, who recently assumed the position of majority leader in the Nigerian Senate, is now the most prominent associate of President Tinumbu to confirm both forfeiture and alleged narcotic background of the former Lagos governor. President Tinubu was inaugurated as Nigeria's president on May 29, 2023, following controversial declaration as the winner of the February presidential election by the Independent National Electoral Commission. The ongoing presidential election dispute continues to unravel revelations that shed light on the backgrounds and actions of the key figures involved. As the tribunal proceeds this unfold, the public eagerly await further insights into the allegations and their, their potential impact on the Nigerian political landscape. Huh. Now, wow, hmm. Kai, 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 this whole thing is just messy. Bola Tinumbu's witness, Senator Bamdele, admits Nigeria president forfeited 460000 for narcotic dealing, money laundry in U.S. <laughs> Okay, we now nah, look with the look. You know, say the abnormality have become the normal thing in Nigeria. Okay, now nah, so with the same everything we did, but everybody they look who is going to 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 rescue Nigeria. <laughs> transgender transgender president is a man whose uh, results is a female but physically has a male gender feature. Who is corrupt among these two? I can't even laugh. The more una look, the less una they see. No be who first go to court or tribunal win the case. Una never see anything yet. Let us continue. Chief Nubu should step down. Honorably down to be disgraced out. This whole thing is getting out of hand. The whole thing is getting out of hand. But you see these people? Okay, okay. <laughs> You will see that they will say, yeah, hey, after all, and so what? What's the big deal about it? 
what's the big deal about it? That is what you are going to be hearing. They no get she more. Hmm. They no get she at all, at all, at all, at all. Something is really, really wrong somewhere. We'll see how all of these things will pan out. Unfortunately, the innocents are the ones bearing the brunt of this whole thing. They are the ones bearing the brunt. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? No, you're not surprised. And even the ones, majority of them who are even bearing the bronze, they are not even, they are not even, they are not even concerned. They look elsewhere on whom to blame, not even blaming themselves. It's just a, a ridiculous thing that uh, we have really, um, <clears throat> okay, we have really been seen. These days. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.